Sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, Catholic High alumni, the graduating class of 2020, parents, family members, administration, faculty and staff, young women of Catholic High, Mrs. Johnston, Dr. Grant, Sister Ann Dutro, and Mr. Winchell. I welcome all of you to our annual May crowning and prayer service. As you may remember from years past, this day is traditionally the first time we have our seniors process in academic dress. While you're not able to be here this morning, please know that, that I see you with my mind and in my heart. And now we begin. As many of you know, the crowning of the Blessed Mother in the month of May is a popular and long-standing Catholic tradition from the 1940s and 50s in parishes in the United States and Great Britain. It is symbolic of the honor we give to Mary as the one chosen by God to be the mother of Jesus. In earlier years at Catholic High, it was also a tradition. We processed from this auditorium to the large statue of Mary in the front of the school on Edison Highway. And Mary was crowned by the senior who was the prefect of the sodality. In recent years, we brought the ceremony indoors so that everyone may see and hear and without the worry of weather. In order for us to maintain appropriate distance this year, Miss Catholic High has the honor of crowning Mary once again outside in front of our school. The students of the year form her court. I wish to introduce the students involved um, in our May crowning as we celebrate Mary. 
Mary's court consists of Miss Freshman, Caroline Kutenzoa, Miss Sophomore, Emily Balagos, Miss Junior, Kristen Roche, and Miss Kapakai is senior Alyssa Rakoski, who will crown Mary. So why do we honor Mary? To use a word from our mission statement, Mary was empowered as a woman at a time when women were not valued and respected, when women were not empowered to make important decisions, could not own property or possess wealth. Because society then did not value women as our culture does today, Mary's acceptance of God's will is even more remarkable. Even though she was often frightened and unsure, Mary remains a role model of courage and empowerment for all of us. For she was a woman of dignity, wisdom, and incredible strength. So as you listen to the words of the Gospel of Luke this morning, I invite you, all of you, especially the young women of Catholic High, to reflect on the time in history when Mary lived. Put yourself in Mary's place, a teenager like the young women of Catholic High, perhaps quiet like someone in your class whom you don't know very well, or perhaps Mary would be like a strong and quiet leader in the senior class, someone you would like to know. Try to imagine how Mary felt hearing the angel's message that she was to be the mother of God that she was chosen to bear a son named Jesus. And how full of faith she was to say yes to God's invitation to come, to become the most blessed and empowered woman of all time. I now invite Sister Ann Dutro to come forward. Sister Ann is Catholic High's Director of Mission and presider at today's prayer service. She will begin with our opening prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. Let us pray. Loving God, send forth your Spirit upon us, so that we will remain faithful to you, and serve you with all our hearts. May the inspiration of Mary, the Mother of God, be with us as we gather this day. May we work together with unselfish love as we build the kingdom here on earth. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our brother and our friend. First reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. When the fullness of time had come, God sent forth his son, born of woman, born under the law, to redeem those who were under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons and children of God. As proof that you are children, God has sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a child of God, and if a child of God, then an heir through God. The word of the Lord. Thanks. See 
A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I now invite Sister Ann Dutro to come and give the Gospel reflection. Our readings today revolve around many mysteries, but at the heart of each is an identity within family and community. Two very important aspects of our lives here at Catholic High. Paul reminds us first that we are not servants or slaves. We are heirs, family, children gifted with all that our Father has given us most especially his own divine son, Jesus, here among us as one of our human family for a time. But also our beautiful creation that we call Earth with its countless gifts and riches, as well as his living presence within each of us at every moment of every day. God is love in every way, in every moment in our world and beyond. Today we look especially at this gift of his son and realize that it was only made possible through a simple yes of a young Jewish girl, one of a very small number of people faithful to the ancient promises given of a race through Abraham and Moses, traced forward through the house of David and resting in his descendants of whom Joseph, Mary's intended husband, was one. The Gospel reading today is a very familiar one, the Annunciation to Mary, brought by the angel Gabriel. By all accounts, it was a very ordinary day for Mary, and she was going about very ordinary things. It must have been amazing to be visited by an angel. What Gabriel asked of her on God's behalf was even more startling. Would she, a young woman, consent to being the earthly mother of the Son of God? Mary's world was quite small and her experience with life very limited. We can only imagine what thoughts must have run through her mind at that moment. She had to be overwhelmed incredulous and not quite exactly sure what all of this could possibly mean. Of course she had questions. And yet with each concern, Mary heard the calm reassurance of Gabriel and the promise that God was with her and she was favored with God and that his word and his fidelity were firm. Mary's faith was her strength. Her reply Simply, be it done to me according to God's will. 
humble, and her commitment was trusting and sure. We honor Mary through the month of May. Today we celebrate her as the Queen of Heaven and Earth, Mother to the Son of God, and our Mother as well. Through this crowning, we recognize her place in heaven because of her yes to that angel on that ordinary day in her very ordinary life, her life now given to the call of God. Our joy and gratitude for Mary should not allow us to forget all that she endured from the moment she consented to her glorious assumption into heaven. Mary's yes opened her to many hardships and sorrows throughout the life that followed. We know from scripture that Joseph died before Jesus even started his public life, leaving his mother a widow. Her commitment was not easy, certainly anything but predictable. Her words were few. Her presence was everything. Mary's fidelity to her promise is again rooted in her strength, based on that faith that she lived each day. Her countless examples of courage, her presence in Jesus' life and that of his early followers, and in her unshakable trust in the power of God. So today we offer God deep gratitude for our mothers and for Mary. We ask God to bless all mothers with the grace to nurture and care for their children. We will always strive to keep Mary as a role model and guide, and ask her to walk with us on our journey through this life. We are all family and community on this earth. We thank God for the gift of this young woman's yes to his call, and we ask for the same strength of faith and the courage that Mary possessed. This is a woman to be honored and imitated. This is what we celebrate today, the queenship of our mother, Mary. So we conclude with, O Mary, Mother of God, St. Francis and St. Clair, pray for us. Amen. Loving God, we open our hearts to the sound of your voice and the enunciation of your will. As we place our prayers before you, we listen for your voice. Please stand as we offer our prayers to the Lord. Our response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. Mary said yes to God when he called. May we also say yes to God when he calls us to be good. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Mary loved all people, God. May we also love everyone, even those who hurt us. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Mary served those in need. May we also learn to graciously serve the needs of our world. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Mary listened as God called. May we also listen to the word of God and hear what he has to say to us. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Mary gave glory to God for all that he did. May we be grateful for all God's gifts to us. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Mary offered all her prayers to God. May we offer all prayers in our hearts at this time. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, we trust you hear us this day as we express the longings of our hearts through the intercession of your faithful servant, Mary, grant that we may share in the fullness of your grace. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Amen. Please stand as we now join together and offer the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. to Mary. Be with us, Mother of Jesus. Be with us, Mother of Jesus. Woman of confidence, woman of hope, woman of strength, pray for us. Woman of integrity, woman of truth, woman of peace, pray for us. Woman of justice, woman of faith, woman of prayer, pray for us. Woman stranger, woman victim, woman survivor, pray for us. Woman clothed with the sun, crowned with the stars, the moon at her feet, pray for us. Mother love, mother guide, mother queen, pray for us. Life-giving mother, nourishing mother, model mother, pray for us. Mother listener, mother minister, mother teacher, pray for us. Mother pregnant, unwed mother, lonely birth giver, pray for us. Waiting mother, weeping mother, suffering mother, pray for us. Mother of hunger, mother of pain, mother of fear, pray for us. Mother provider, Mother sustainer, mother reconciler, pray for us. Mother comforter, mother healer, mother confessor, pray for us. Source of blessing, courageous witness, image of the body of Christ, pray for us. Servant of God, disciple of Christ, surprise of the Holy Spirit, pray for us. Be with us, Mother of Jesus. Be with us, Mother of Jesus. Ever-loving God, we ask you to send forth your spirit upon this crown. This is a symbol of our trust in Mary and our belief that we offer to her all the struggles concerns, and hopes of our heart. As she will bear this crown, we trust that she also bears in her heart all that we entrust to her. We ask this blessing in the name of Jesus, our loving Savior, and the Son of Mary. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Go forth in the spirit of God's faithful servant, Mary, to bring the light of Christ into the world to all those you meet.